This lesson is to introduce you to the set of Linux manuals that come with the system. In the past few lessons, I've shown you a few commands such as MKFS, FDisk, and Mount. In each case, I just showed you some of the things the commands could do, but all of them have a number of options, and these options can be used to modify what they do and how they do it. If you know the name of a command, it's a simple matter to list all of the options by using the man command. For example, to take a look at the options available on the more command, you do this. Now the top line displayed here is sort of a title. It shows the name more with the number one in parentheses. The man pages are divided into sections, and I'll have a bit more to say about that in a minute. The name heading is followed by a brief one-line description of the command. That's followed by the synopsis, which shows the syntax of the command and its options. All the stuff in square brackets is optional. And as you can see, everything on the more command line is optional. And we know that's true because we used it earlier by piping input to it instead of naming anything on the command line. Following the synopsis is a description of the utility and what it does. Now this description varies in length. For some commands it can be quite long. It just depends on the complexity of the command and how many things it can be made to do. Then comes the section on options. This is usually what you'll be looking for when you pop up the man page. This is an item by item list of all of the command line options and how they affect the operation of the command. As you can see, there are quite a few options available. This is not out of the ordinary. Linux commands are usually very flexible. Many of them have been around for 20 or 30 years, and every now and then somebody comes up with a need and adds a new option to a command. There are literally hundreds of thousands of programmers around the world that are actively updating Linux. They're not doing it just to be nice to you and me. They're doing it primarily because they want to improve their own version of Linux. But you and I, and everybody else, benefits from it. You can scroll up and down by using the arrow keys, or by using the letters J and K, whichever you prefer. If you remember, the More command displays text and allows you to enter commands on the bottom line and control the text flow, and these are those commands. Here's one that I use a lot. You can skip ahead in the document by entering a slash and having more look ahead in the file until it finds the matching string you type in. But more has lots of commands. Now you don't need to learn them all, but you will probably find a few that you like and use them a lot. Not all man pages have the same set of headings. This one has an environment heading that lists all the environment variables that more uses. As you can see, if there is a command line option that you always like to use with more, you can store it in something called an environment variable and you won't have to specify it on the command line. Environment variables are used a lot and we'll be exploring them in an upcoming lesson. In many cases at the bottom you'll find sort of general information about a command. In the last few years the authors of man pages have started adding their names and a bit of the history of the commands. The information is incomplete, but you have to start somewhere. Other section titles that you will see here are tips and bugs. You know, it's funny. Some of the commercial versions of Unix change bug section to the name caveats or limitations. But Linux doesn't have a marketing department, so a bug is still a bug. The see also section is very important. Often you know a command that is similar to the one you want, and one of the commands listed here will be the one you're really after. In this case, VI is a text editor, which can also be used to view a text file, but it can be used to modify the contents of the file. The command named less is an updated version of more. It does the same thing that more does, but has some fundamental differences in the way it works. Which one you prefer is up to you. Some people like less more than more, but others like more more than less. I try to remain neutral, more or less.